Well, hello, everyone. I'm Jeanette Collins, and you're with Stampin' to Connect, and I'm so glad to be here. I'm hoping you're having a good Friday. I have a off-the-board Pinterest pin I want to work with today. Uh, let me show it to you, and then we will be, um, and then I'll show you the materials I'm going to be using to to uh, kind of recreate a card. Um, I added a few more things. So this is the card. Let me scoot over because I know it's going to cover me. So let's see. Let me go this way. Hang on. <laughs> All right. Eh, which way do I go? Okay, here is the card. And it is by, I believe it says Susie. Let me put my glasses on so I can read it. Susie Wood. And she used the Beauty of Friendship stamp. And that's what I'm going to be using today, too. So it's a really pretty card. I like the wood grain on it. I love the tree. Uh, it speaks, you know, the, the fall, especially here in Texas, where we don't get all the beautiful colored trees, but we do get, um, you know, the, the leaves falling, the green, the green leaves falling. So I, and this, as it says, it's a fun fold. And actually what it is, is a gate fold. So let's get started on today's off the board Pinterest card. All right. Let's see here. Let me move me, move myself out of the way. I need to make sure I can see comments. There we go. And I'm going to put you down. Okay, let me make sure my audio is going. Yes, it is. Okay, great. So you should see my desk and in front of me, I have the Beauty of Friendship stamp set. You know, I've been, I'm still in the fall mode and yes, I can do some, a few Halloween things, but this stamp is so beautiful because it's the distinctive two-step stamp and distinctive meaning that it's etched out. And so you get a lot of variation when you stamp, especially this, this one and this one, because it has, like I said, the variated um, heights, I guess, you know, etched out in it. So um, let me show you what I'm going to be using today. Besides this, I'm going to only use, as a matter of fact, I'm only going to use these two stamps here and the sentiment on the inside. So let's get started. I have a piece of evening evergreen and this evening evergreen is eight and a half by five and a half and I scored it at two and an eighth on one side here. Okay, I know it's hard to see because it's a dark color, but it is scored at two and an eighth, there you can see it. And then what I did in my, my cutter is I just turned the paper completely around and measured two and an eighth again. So two and an eighth and two and an eighth. And that's what makes the gate fold right there. Now, as you can tell, I've got a beautiful texture here, and this texture is from an embossing folder. And the embossing folder that I just absolutely love when it comes to an earthy, um, you know, leaf pattern is this from, it's a, a embossing folder from the Greenery Duo. Let me show you. When, when you order this, you get two embossing folders. You get one with the little pattern leaves up and down like that, that I've done. And then you get this one where it's on the top and bottom, which is really pretty too. So you get two embossing folders for one in one package. And this is in our annual catalog. The item number is 152. 716 if you're interested in grabbing this it's just such a great staple in in our um in your arsenal but see how beautiful 
this one makes. I just I just think that is so pretty. Now this is soft succulent. I'm not using it today, but I, I keep it in here because I know I'm going to use it again. And let me put it back in my folder. But what I did is I put that here. Let me show you. I used that leafy one and put it like this. So I lined it up with the edge of my score line and put it in and then ran it through my machine. And then I did it again. See? Then I just turned it, lined it up with my score line and did it again. Now, and this is just big enough to go through your big, big uh, stamp and emboss machine. So that's, it's perfect. So that's how I did that to just to give my paper and my gatefold a little bit of, of um, texture. All right. Now, actually, I want to put it this way because I'm going to leave this side, the one that's got the raised edge, the raised, I'm going to leave it on the right side. And this one's going to fold out. And it's going to give me the texture on here now so i have that piece and then i'm going to need an inside piece which is a white piece and it's going to end up going right there and we'll be doing some stamping on it for the measurements it is a four by five and a quarter so it will fit right in here okay so like so and then in addition to that so we've got that you're going to need another small piece of white cardstock, and this one is four by two and a half. We're going to do stamping on it. And then I have these extra pieces, and these extra pieces are going to help layer some color on our, our very dark card. Okay, I have some silver, and this actually is just going to be the backing for my, my little card. So you can see that it's... Um, about an eighth of an inch bigger all the way around. Uh, so let's see, give you the measurements. That would make it two and a quarter by four and a quarter. Okay. And these are just five and a half inch in length. I have this one measuring at one and a half. And this one is measuring at three and a quarter by five and a half. And this is the back side of, of this. Okay. So this is all we're going to need to put this card together. But let's get stamping because the stamping part is what is fun. And then we'll put the card together to, to make it beautiful. All right. I want to stamp on my large piece first. Um, and what I'm going to do, let's see if I can see any comments. Hang on. There we go. Yep. Let me say hello. There. Okay, very good. Um, I'm going to be using... Um, cinnamon cider for the little branch, branch stem, and then I'm going to use old olive. I know these two colors kind of look harsh together, but I think it's going to look good because of this. I, that's what I was looking at. So I'm going to use the old olive on my tree, but I'm going to top it with the evening evergreen, which matches that paper okay so let's get actually what i'm going to do is i'm going to stamp the old olive first and i'm going to use my image that is feels more flat okay and this one gives you as, as you can tell it, it does look flat too but it gives lots of variation so it's very very etched let me just show you what it looks like. Go ahead and ink that up with my old olive. And I'm going to put it right here in the middle. 
Just looking at my grid paper to see if I can get it pretty centered. Yep, there it is. I'm just going to put it about right, right in the center. Okay, there. And I'm going to lift there. See how the subtlety of the stamp does the work for you. It's got so much variation in it, and that's why I love distinctive stamps. Stampin' Up! does such a good job uh, with the distinctive stamps, and they are truly my favorite, truly. Now, because I want to make a little bit of a scene here, I'm going to stamp it again, but I'm going to stamp off just a bit. So I'm going to stamp, I mean, ink up. I am going to stamp off once. And then come here, and I'm going to just drop it just a little bit. There, see this one? And do that again on the other side. I'm going to stamp off. So I'm inking up. I'm going to stamp off and then go to the other side and let it fall off the edge just a bit. There. So I have a variation in color, and it's just so, so pretty. Now, what I also want to do is I'm going to do another. Oh, I don't want to do too much, though. I want to do one right here in the middle. Now, this is third generation. Another one here. Let's do that again. Because remember, if, if it doesn't, now this is full on. Oh, it's still very pretty. It looks like a little forest. This is full on. Isn't that pretty? So just it here. Let me let me get this little edge there. It just makes such a beautiful little scene, and it's not exact, and that's okay. I just love that. Just really love that. So I'm gonna leave that there, and now I want to take my small piece that I have ready. And this is going to be our focal point of the card. So let me put this one again, same, the same stamp, ink it up, and it's going right in the middle. Hold it. Let that ink sink in and lift. Oh, so great. All right. Now, I'm done with that. So I'm going to take my old olive and close it. But I'm going to use my Evening Evergreen. This is the darker color, just like the cardstock. And I'm going to use this other stamp. Now, this one has a more raised edges. Okay, there's a lot more edge to it as you can see let me see now, this one's kind of solid and this one's got a more of an ed raised edges i'm going to ink it up and it's going right on top of my old olive tree And you're going to see how this will pull in my dark color. Oh, isn't that so pretty? I have a kitty that's crying that wants in again. <laughs> I swear, as soon as I get started, if they're outside, they want back in. You know, you, they're in and out all day long. Okay, and then I'm going to take my cinnamon cider. And I'm going to put the little tree trunk here. I don't really want too much here. So you know what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a post-it note. So if I can find my little post-it notes. Yeah, one more door down. Okay. I have these. They are all sticky back. They're sticky on the entire back. So that makes for great... Um, masking. So I'm putting it on top of my stamp. So I'm just going to stamp up my stem with my um, cinnamon cider. 
So I don't have to worry that I'm that it's going to get see like I did here. But remember, you got to take it off. Now it's ready to go. Okay, I'm going to turn this just a bit so I can stamp my branch right there. And there it is. See, now I don't have the branches up there. It just it looks very nice and clean. Okay, I've got to get rid of this so it doesn't get me dirty there. All right, now I think it's time to put my, put this away. Let's see, did I want to do anything else? I think that's good. Just such a beautiful focal point. Put my inks away, put my stamps away. All right. So what do I have so far? I have this in the old olive. And then I have this in the old olive, but stamped over with that detailed stamp on top. I think they're just very, very pretty. And I have my card base that I have already scored at two and an eighth. And two, if you flip it, it's two and an eighth. Okay. I guess it would be hmm, five and no, nope, it would be six six and three eighths I think the other way all right I'm going to put this down you know what let's get that in, uh, sentiment down there too oh, and I should use that I want to use that dark dark evergreen for my sentiment and my sentiment I said I was going to use is friendships refresh the soul which I love that saying Okay. Hope you're having a good Friday. I had a good day yesterday. It just happened to be my birthday and so thankful to have another birthday. Okay, this one's going to be put just right here at the bottom. Could put it at the top too. I'm going to go with it at the bottom though and let it kind of overlap. I'm going to let it overlap a little bit of that that green okay that old olive base get this straight that's why we like grid mats so we can kind of help see what how straight we're getting and of course the photopolymer helps too let's push this down hold it not squish it too hard just hold it let that ink seep into that paper and straight up Oh, that is just so beautiful. I absolutely love it. So that is going to tie in my dark green to my, my paper. So let's put this on the inside. It's ready. And I have my mono, my Tombow mono glue, which I love. And we're just going to put a little bead all the way around. Look like it came out a lot right there. Just a tiny bit. And get that centered. You know, Pinterest is such a good way to kind of get you going. And that's why I wanted to do this series called Off the Board. You can go back onto my blog, which is stampintoconnect.com, and see a couple others I have done. So that's that, um, where I took a Pinterest item and, and, um, Try to recreate it, but, you know, sometimes you just can't. Either you don't have the same materials um, or you think, well, but maybe I'll do it this way. And so it just kind of it kind of gives you a place to start if you look at somebody else's idea. And, you know, and, and that's that's great for for the creatives, because, you know, we're we're all learning. We all want to recreate something that's beautiful and you know you don't have to be an artist to be a good card maker and it doesn't have to be really fancy like this this is not fancy work this is simple it was a two-step 
um, that little masking was easy, put on, mounted on, on this, um, on this uh, silver. Now, and as you remember, she did not have it on silver. She used just, um, well, I can put it back up there again. Let's see. Let's see if I can find, find her picture again. I think it's interesting to see it. Let me show it to you again. See here. I don't know if you can, I don't think you can see my pointer. Um, but she has it on the wood grain and oh and she put she put a tag she put a tag here on this and then tied a little bow and of course that's an embellishment we can add that but it's it's just the same type of little thing now she added more on the bottom so again i'm not going to do all that i'm going to keep it pretty simple but i think it looks great and of course hers is the, the gatefold so that's neat all right so that is again Susie Wood, I'm so thankful that you posted your, your card. And now we're going to take, I, I want to do the inside of this first. I'm going to put, this is going on this side. I'm going to put this here, and it, I don't really think it matters which way it goes up and down, because this is pulling in this olive green. All right, and I also want to add a little bit of the silver just to kind of give it that oomph. I've used that word before in my videos. <laughs> I like that. So this one is kind of butted up right against that seam. So let's get this one down first. And the reason why this works is because the back of the paper, we're going to have the wood grain showing on the front, but then it's going to peek through on the back as well. So, so we're going to put this one up against the seam of the fold. And I'm going to tuck this piece right under Probably should have done this one first, but it's okay. It'll still go right under that pattern paper. A little, so. Yeah, see, I'm going to lift it and just kind of work it right in there. I want a little bit of my green to show. Ah. It's good I'm using liquid glue because of the texture of my cardstock now. Now, see, I'm just leaving a teeny little teeny edge. I can slide it over just a little bit. I think that looks good. And now I will press it. See how pretty that looks? Mm -hmm. Okay. And now for this side, we're going to use the same paper but it's going to be not this way. It could be, we could do it that way and put it, you know, and that's not bad, is it? And then what would the inside be? The inside would be this. But see, I want the green to show. So I'm gonna turn it around where it's like this. And we're gonna put the wood grain just like she did. So I'm gonna leave about, that is a quarter of an inch quarter of an inch on the edge and glue this down. So let me get my glue again. I want to make sure this side is glued pretty good. Okay. Oh, I made a me. Okay. I got to get a towel and wipe this off just a bit. I tell you why I went way too far over. So I'm going to take some of this off in the middle. There we go, because I just need it to stick on that one edge there. Okay. You know what I mean? I just need it to stick here. So about a quarter inch. That looks good. There, lovely. And I can press it down. 
And then the next thing is to put my focal point. Ooh, but, but you know, before I put that focal point, this is how this is going to look. I may want to add a ribbon like she did, but I think I'm going to use this. It's called um, braided linen trim, and it's in that olive green. And I'm just going to uh, tie it around the sil that silver card with the tree and see if we can get a, a nice little knot. Can you still see me? If you're watching this as a replay, please give me a comment so I know how I'm doing. Uh, and actually, I'm thinking about moving my time. Um, I'm finding that this time is good for me. But what happens is after I finish this and then I do all my cleaning up and all that stuff, it's like I don't get much done for the rest of the afternoon. <laughs> so I may want to. Oh, that's pretty. Do it just a little earlier see if i can catch a few more people it's either going to do it earlier or later so i don't know i was talking to my son about it he's you know they're all online and stuff all the time he's in his 20s and he says well mom when do you go online to watch people <laughs> i'm like good point <laughs> kids all right let's see it's okay that it's twisted. I kind of like that. Ooh, and that's pretty too. Okay, I am going, when I glue this down, I'm just going to glue this part so it can tuck in. That's kind of neat. See the little surprises. That's pretty. I like the ribbon on it. So, I'm going to glue this down on that wood grain pattern. I'll make sure this stays on really well, so I'm putting a lot more than I normally would. Okay, I am going to just put it straight down. I glued it all over, so I'm not going to be wiping it off again. I'm going to center it. Centering is good. There. It is centered. It is pretty. And I'm going to look to see if I have any little jewels. I know I can use the little silver jewels. Um, I can use the little autumn jewels. Let's see. But you know... I think these little, that might work. Either those or just my little silvers. I'm going to go with the uh, basic rhinestone just because I've got the silver on it. I think that will be real pretty. And then as soon as I get off of here, i got to go talk to my kitty and let her in. It's my, it's my manx. She goes out and she loves being out, but as soon as she hears us, she wants back in. So I'm going to put one here. One at the top. Yeah, I hear her. She's like, please let me in. Why aren't you letting me in? Here. I think it's so funny when we do this, but I do it all the time. Okay, there's three, and then close this. Now, you know what else I could do, which would be really cool, is to put another fancy ribbon on the top. And that is surely would make it gorgeous. Let me think what else. Hmm. Now, I could use... I could use this white, even. This white grain. grain. And just really foo-foo it up here. And you know what else would be nice is like just the little word hello. Mm. 
and see how this is going to look. Put it down here. <laughs> Poor little girl. She is a crying. She's trying to let me know. She's like, I want in. I want in. Okay. Yeah. Okay. See, that's pretty too. Just that little bit of white there. And what we could do is move this one over, but I'm not going to. I think that's pretty. So here is my trifold Pinterest influenced card. Isn't that pretty with the beauty of friendship? So let's go back again. I like to show what she did again. There's hers, and there's mine. A little different, and, but it's fun, very fun. You can see she has, see how I have this green edge, and she has that green edge too, so that makes it really pretty. So thank you, Susie Wood, for posting. I'm very excited about that, and I will come back to see you see so when you when you give this card you can give it like that and they could just slide this off and it still has another ribbon on it isn't that pretty that green growth and then on the inside look got that isn't that pretty and this is just such a almost makes it look like a watercolor and all i did is stamp that one stamp stamping off stamping lower and then I added this color here because I wanted them to kind of have a balance. So that is my card. All right. I see I have Colleen here. Thank you for being here, Colleen. I really do appreciate it. I was, wasn't was sure if I was going to have my energy to do this today. <laughs> but I did. Yep. Here I am, Colleen. So thank you for being here. I hope you like the card. It's a simple one. And again, I call this series off the board because it's easy. It's fun. It's fun to go look at Pinterest and go, gosh, those are so pretty, but can I do it? Well, you try to do it as best you can, but you have to make, sometimes you have to make changes just because your products don't exactly match. So, and then if you want to add to it, it's easy. It's fun. And that's what card making is supposed to be. It's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be relaxing. And it's supposed to be that you put this in the mailbox and send it to someone else so that they can have a, so they can be, uh, so they know that you're thinking of them and you can bring them a smile. So thanks for being here. And I will see you next week. I'll be posting possibly a new schedule to sell about my videos. See you next time. Have a great weekend. Bye.